The Style Picker tool in Affinity Publisher allows you to sample attributes from objects and text and apply them to other design elements of the same nature. It works by simply copying an object's existing attributes and temporarily holding the information. You can then apply those attributes by simply clicking on your desired object. We have here a selection of coloured circles, and this first circle has a solid blue fill and a white stroke that has been set to 1.5 pixels. And I want to apply this effect to the other circles below so that I can clearly see the white numbering that I inserted earlier. So I'll locate my style picker tool by long clicking on the tools panel over the color picker icon and selecting the style picker tool. I'll then click on the first blue circle to load my style picker with the object's attributes. We can then single click on the circle below to apply the first circle's attributes. Notice that the style picker continues to hold the first circle's attributes so they can be applied to the other items within our document without having to reselect the first circle's formatting. So I'll continue to apply these attributes to the other circles on the page. We can also use the style picker tool to replicate formatting from text. I have here a text frame that uses a specific font and colour. Before we select our text, we'll need to clear our previous style that we have selected. We can do this in one of two ways. The first is to go to our context toolbar and select the unload button, effectively unloading the style we previously had selected. Alternatively, with the style picker selected, we can simply hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows when selecting a new style. So I'll go ahead and hold Option to reload my style and select the first line of text, loading my style onto the picker. I can then choose to apply the style to individual words by single clicking them, applying the style to a range of letters by click dragging my cursor to select a range, or I can click on the text frame itself to apply it to the entire frame. We can apply a style to multiple objects at the same time by first using the move tool, which is V on the keyboard, and then holding shift to select a range of objects or text frames. Then load and select the style I want to apply to the picker. So once again, I'll hold option and select this first text frame. This will automatically apply the text frame's formatting to the selected objects below. The style picker can also be used to apply effects to objects. So if we scroll down, I'll first apply an outer shadow effect to this circle here. We'll change the blend mode from multiply to normal. And I'll also change the color to white so we can better see the effect against the dark blue background. Once I'm happy with my effect, we'll click close. Now I can once again select the style picker, load and select my effect, and then apply it to the other circles. The style picker tool can also be used with objects and shapes that utilize multiple strokes and fills. To add and manage multi stroke effects in Affinity Publisher, we'll need to move across to the designer persona and access the appearance panel. This triangle here has two strokes applied to it, a white stroke and a black stroke with an Erase Blend Mode applied. The black stroke with the Erase Blend Mode erases part of the white stroke, giving the white stroke the appearance of floating inside the original shape. So we can once again use the Style Picker to copy and hold the triangle's attributes. Making sure that the Style Picker is unloaded by either clicking Unload on the context toolbar or by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, we'll select the triangle that contains the multi-stroke effect. We'll then single click on the other triangles we want to apply the effect to. And that's how to use the Style Picker tool to copy and redistribute attributes and formatting in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.